When you die, will you be missed? Will your family miss you? Will your neighborhood miss you? Will your masjid miss you? You know, sometimes we don't appreciate people in our communities, in our masajid, until they leave the community. Then all of a sudden, the bathroom's not getting clean like it used to. All of a sudden, he's, you know, the masjid's not getting vacuumed anymore. All of a sudden, the guy that was collecting donations is not there anymore. We recognize a void. Your society, will you be missed? And essentially, this is exactly what the Messenger وسلم, and the companions taught us. That wherever they were, they took their good. And even the non-Muslims would wish that they would remain there. When Rasulullah was with the Ansar, how bad did the Ansar want the Messenger وسلم, to stay amongst them? How bad did the Muhajireen want the Messenger وسلم, with them? When Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, was making hijrah to Habasha, to Abyssinia. Abu Bakr never made hijrah to Abyssinia, but he was on his way. And someone stops him by the name of Dughna. And he says, why are you fleeing? A person like you should not be taken away from his society. A person like you should not be taken away from his society, should not be rejected in this way. And offers him protection, even though he's a non-Muslim. And you know what, dear brothers and sisters, the reality is, and this is my absolute conclusion, no matter how eloquent we are in our speeches, no matter how right our argument is, no matter how involved we get in mass media, we will not truly be able to succeed in giving da'wah until the people of this country stand up on our behalf and testify on our behalf and say, we want Muslims in our country. We want Muslims to be here. They change the way we live. They offer us benefit. When a flood hits, they were the first people there. Ikhna Relief was there. People with Muslims for Humanity shirts were there. They were serving us. We want them to be here. You know, I'm not going to tolerate the garbage that I see on TV. I've said this before and I'll say it again. One positive incident, one incident with you taking a brown paper bag and giving a sandwich to somebody is enough to undo 20 years of Fox News programming in their heads. One incident, one encounter. I want you to think very deeply about that and the role that our community should play and the role that we as individuals should play. Will you be missed? Will the heavens and the earth cry for you when you pass away? Will its occupants cry for you? Will they feel sorry for your loss? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those not who the earth is relieved from, but rather we are relieved from the earth when we pass away. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enter us in the highest level of Jannatul Firdaus in the companionship of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. Allahumma ameen.